people say, Sir Moose, what's the most painful thing you've ever experienced? And I go, well, it could be falling over on gravel and scraping your hands. That's nasty. Could be biting your tongue, stubbing your toe, or even a vicious paper cut. But of course, guys, it could also be getting one star in your Legend League or War Attack. That is painful, very painful indeed, especially when it's against one of these bases coming on the screen right now, these nasty centralised town hall bases. And that's why today's video is dedicated to how to three-star these bases with ease. We're going to be using the following attack strategy. It's coming on the screen now called Ice. It's really easy to use and you can just spam these bases to get three stars. It's got Ice Golems, Witches, Bowlers and Bat Spells. We're going to check out the replays in just a moment where I'll show you how to use it. And guys, remember if you are new to the channel and you do want to see the latest and greatest base designs, reviews and Clash of Clans guides, hit that subscribe button and join the Sir Moose army. So we'll check out these replays in just a moment. I wanted to ask one question though, guys. On my last video, somebody put nice content. I just hate the Batman voice. Please don't do it. So I was like, what? So I want to ask you guys, do I sound like Batman? I don't think so, but I value your opinion. So please do let me know in the comments. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go and watch this strategy in action and three star these bases. Hello, yes, it's this favourite base. We see it in the Legend League all the time and a lot of people still use it as their war base. Now, with this attack strategy, guys, I'm not exaggerating, I nearly always get three stars attacking this base. I like attacking the segment that's got the clan castle. I like to take out the clan castle troops first. That's because it stops them attacking your wrecker at the town hall later and sometimes that can lead to a one-star attack. So, this is how the strategy works. Ice Golem's down. Which is behind, then you're going to put your heroes in the center, then the wrecker, then your bowlers. And as early as this, you can start thinking about using your Grand Warden ability if you need to. Put a Rage spell down as well. And then start thinking about maybe even using some Bat spells. Not yet, though. The main priority is getting that wrecker to the town hall. Make sure it's not being infernoed or anything like that. And there we go. This is going okay so far, but it's imperative. Like I always say in my attack strategy videos, get that record to the town hall. It must take it down. I've got some Valkyries in there. Boom. Town hall's down. That's looking all right. The troops have split either side. In go those bats. Take out that single target Inferno. And now it's just watching your hero abilities and getting ready with your finger on those free spells to help the troops out. The bats have split. I don't like that. They don't normally do that. So the bats have split anyway. Air sweepers help them onto that eagle artillery. They're doing okay. Free spell down a bit late. They're going to take out that multi inferno. Beautiful. And yeah, this tactic is really good against this base. It really is. I have a lot of success. And like I said, most of the attacks are three stars. And look at those bats overwhelming that multi inferno. Magnificent. There we go. Overkill, really, there. Beautiful. Three stars. Always appreciated. That's how I take down that base. What's next? Who we got? Yes, it's this base, the centralised town hall base. This is one of my favourites. It is really tricky base. And if you use it in the Legend League, I get loads of one-star attacks against it. Against this base, in this format, guys, I like attacking from the right-hand side. And I'm always going to be honest with you, I don't always three-star this base. But I do get high two-star percentages and some three-stars. It just depends how your troops split. Because this base is pretty good against bat spells, if I'm honest. So when we go there on the right, Ice Golem's down. Wrecker, Bowlers, same format as before. Let them push in. Use your GW ability nice and early if you need to. Boom! Activated. Get that Wrecker to its destination. Is it being Infernoed? It was. Until Sir Moose throws that single target. Get that Wrecker. There it goes. Thump oh, some bowlers flung out of the arena there. Town Hall's down and now it's all about the bats and all about managing your troops and your hero abilities if you've got any left. So this is the only thing with this base. You put in the bats, but it's really hard to get a clean sweep with the bats, with the defences, the way they're positioned. That multi inferno has been frozen. Slice it up there. Put down that free spell there for that wizard tower. The bats are split in half. And look, I'm going, go over to the wizard tower, guys. I froze it twice. But the bats are saying, no, Sir Moose. We do what we want. We don't listen to you. Who do you think you are? And I'm like, okay, fair enough. You're going to die in a moment. Because that wizard tower's down there waiting. And I've used my free spells. And boom, 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 boom. Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. Bats are down. So luckily, we had enough troops. But yeah, against this base, this is popular. In the Legend League, guys, and Warbase, it is a tricky one. 
I find coming in from that right hand side gets me the best result. Speed it up a bit. This was quite a close one, I have to admit. It wasn't as comfortable as the last one getting three stars, but three stars is three stars, guys. It's not four, but it's three. So there we go. That's how we can take down this base, attacking from the right, following the same format. And this time, a new attacker enters the arena, Cags Gaming. Check out his channel. Great channel, Cags. He's in the clan, got his own YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the video description. And again, with this base, standard trophy base, I always attack from the left-hand side. You'll see in a minute. And again, it is another spam attack. No funneling, guys. Just spamming. A delicate little wizard place there on the left just to take out that... Uh, I was going to say uh, oil pump. It's not an oil pump. It's a dark elixir drill. In go those ice goals, them witches. Cags with his attack is a bit quicker than me, though. Uh, yeah, in they go. I'd be using the GW ability here. Maybe used a bit late, but... Uh, Still a good attack so far, so you know, I'm not going to say it again, I sound like a broken record. Get that record to the town hall, yes. There it is, it's hit the town hall now. I always go with Valks myself, guys, they take down the town hall real quick. If you have the Ice Golem and Pekka, all it takes is a few skulls there, the Pekka gets distracted. She starts attacking or chatting to the skeletons and you've got one star. So those bats coming in now, once you've got rid of that main segment, there's not much... Uh, there aren't many really nasty defences to take out the bats. There's that wizard tower there, of course. But that tower is toast. And now it's always going to be three stars, isn't it? Those bats, no mercy. Good night. So this one strategy is really effective against all of these centralised town hall bases. Yes, it will struggle against a base on the edge of the town hall if you haven't got a jump spell. It doesn't mean you're going to get one star. You can still get two stars. But these centralised town halls... They're really, really susceptible to this attack. So there we go. Three stars. And I find with this attack strategy, you'll be getting three stars most of the time against that base. And what's this? I'd finished the videos, guys. I was ready to upload it. And then I went in the Legend League with my army still there. And I came across this really common base. This used to be the base to beat. So this is how I take down this base, okay? I go straight from the top. I put a rage, a rage I think so, yeah. A rage spell down first. Come on, rage spell. Boosh, where are you? Give us a second, guys. Sorry. This uh, replay should have sped it up. There we go. Then the ice goals. Then I put the king down to clear out some of that. Some of those nasty defences. Then the, the rest of the guys in ice golem, which is bowlers. A bit of a mess there, really. Everything just got chucked in. Grand Warden ability used nice and early. And again, spam attack. What happens, you push your wrecker through, troops go left, take out that Molten Inferno, troops go right, take out that Molten Inferno. And it's like chopping the head off something there. Once you've got this nasty set of defence at the top out of the way, you've got a really good chance of three star in the base. But yet again, you need to ensure you take down the town hall. So this is looking okay so far. The wreck is the key, of course. You've got the queen on the right, grand warden on the left with the king. Nice even split. And yeah, that town hall is going to go down. Start thinking about using your bat spells in a minute. Wait for those two wizard towers to get taken down. Bowler flung into the air. Bit lucky with that town hall. Got me a bit worried there. And uh, we're thinking about the bat spells now. Where are they? Come on, bats. Don't be too late to the party. So running out of steam a bit. Boom, yes, in the come of the bats. Freeze that multi inferno. We do have two wizard towers left, and I've only got one free, so this could be. Yep, some bats have been uh, taken down there on the right. But uh, yeah, that was a poor free spell from Sir Moose. Didn't do too well there. But those bats are helping clean up. And yeah, this is only had one, one attempt at this. I didn't have this as a friendly challenge. I only had one attempt, but one attempt was all I need. I do find that I will three-star this base again with a majority of attacks. So basically, out of the four bases we checked today, three of them will be three-starred, I think, most of the time using this strategy. The, the centralised town hall one with the layers that I mentioned, that's a trickier base to take down, but it still can be three-starred. Really, really nice, easy attack strategy, this, guys. And in my uh, Made Simple Attack Strategy guides, I do have a video dedicated to showing you how to use this strategy a bit more in-depth if you want to check that out. Yeah. So there we go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. 
when I first started in the Legend League, I hated facing these bases, and I'll be honest, I got one star most of the time. It always went wrong, I could never take down the Town Hall, and I've just learned over time, I don't fear them anymore, they're easy to take down for me now. So I hope this video has taught you something, Town Hall 13 on the horizon, that will be awesome as well. If you haven't subscribed, guys, hit that subscribe button and join the Samoose Army. So this is Samu signing out. Last thing I'll tell you guys, remember to practice your funneling. Get up in the morning, have your breakfast, do some funneling. Go to work, whatever you do, come home, read a book, then do some more funneling. Funneling is the key to decent attacks and clash of plans. Alright guys, I will catch you later. Samu signing out.